All righty. Let's go take a walk. It has been a while since we've done some filming. Oh, goodness sakes. Has it ever. Now this one here, I'm going to talk about the changes we've made uh, to our greenhouse operation with the pheasants and quail. So, here we go. For one thing, let's start with the new addition we've made here. We now have a lean-to off the end of our greenhouse. This was necessary due to getting a little crowded inside. So my wife uses this whole end now for all kinds of stuff. Just a real simple little lean-to green, you know, greenhouse covered with uh, greenhouse film. And it works out really well to give us the room we needed. And here's the other side of the lean-to. I just made a big wide door so it's real handy and useful. And we just, uh, when we recovered the greenhouse with new plastic, we just uh, brought it right over the end and uh, worked out really well. Alrighty. What she's doing right now is um, putting the quail manure in these bags because we was having problems. Uh, the wood shavings were staying wet, but they weren't heating up to compost. And by putting them in these bags, she's been able to get the temp back up where we want it. So that way it will uh, compost. Right now we've got more than just our breeding hens in here. We've got uh, 21 grow out chicks in there as well. Uh, they're about four weeks old and uh, doing just fine. We actually hatched them out of uh, jumbo eggs. Uh, these are eggs that are over 18 grams, so uh, that worked out pretty cool. Alrighty, now, the reason why I said we had to build a lean-to, unknown to us at the time, we now have a bigger pen. This is number two, the expanded version. We expanded it by an extra uh, four feet to the east of us here. And um, we used to have two pheasants in there. They were Reese pheasants. We now have four pheasants in there, but not the same ones. These are uh, pheasants that we bought and uh, we're gonna we actually have breeding pairs now so so now we have more pheasants and a much bigger pen a much taller pen and uh, we run this uh, tarp over the top to uh, keep them a little drier down here because they like it a little drier and then we cover this end over here because they were looking at the quail over there and thought they were food so they just kept wanting to get through to them, so we said, all right, fine. So we uh, put a tarp over it, and that seems to work pretty well. Uh, I just built these simple uh, roosting poles here, and that works really well. So that's what we're doing now in the greenhouse. The chuckers are all gone. They've been gone from the last video, and the pheasants are butchered out. They are mighty tasty, by the way. And uh, now we have Lenny and uh, Lex, and we have Handy, and we have uh, Heidi. So these are four Reeves pheasants that we're going to use for breeders. Now we're moving into the pheasant pen where we have the ornamentals at. And uh, I haven't been here for a good while either. I haven't brought you all with me. So let's go in here and take a looky around and see what we got going on in here. We're starting to get some colors. Yes, we are. They're starting to get some colors. Uh, my wife's followed me in here, so uh, she brought some apples with her, which they really love apples. We call that one splash over there. It's kind of a whitish, yellowish color. And uh, This is my wife and she's feeding the pheasants apples. They really enjoy that. 